Ama poisa se kwenseki si lo kubosho go munye usai jenwe sfazane li mpompo nge intolo zo gbulala mandaba isi tupa uza toli kokelo ye mali yo mshwa lenti. I poisa li mnyage ngu 43 up dala bel 7 the station sama poisa isi naba ruana e Bloomberg kusura utile li poisa la fagi estrelo ze mali nga pezu kuka 10 million wa marandi. Gogo pengyo li li poisa la kala ngu nyaga ga 2019. La boga baba izi su, nduza do saiche, na babi pumage makaya shrimpu ganda bange, babi kuba zegile, no mabe paza misegile ngo gumkondo. Okulme la mapo iso brigade athlenda mate uti umsola uzo vele nga dole manji ya sepolo wani ulo sislanu. General Fali Masamula welcomes the arrest of the 43-year-old sergeant who was attached to a police station in Limpopo. The on-duty sergeant was arrested following a lengthy investigation by Captain Keshima Bunda on allegations that she was fraudulently benefiting from funeral, accidental and life policy covers from various banks and insurance companies. The information that we have is that the victims, the deceased, were known to her they were from destitute, disadvantaged backgrounds. Some were disabled. Some were mentally challenged. She would take out life policies and funeral covers on, her, on their behalf, and she would be their beneficiary. Uh, she's currently linked to uh, about six insurance-related matters, and evidence shows that she has already uh, pocketed about uh, 10 million. We condemn this type of uh, acts within uh, our ranks as a police officer, we are entrusted with the safety and security of communities. For a police officer uh, to be involved in such acts is an absolute disgrace. She abused her powers by uh, ensuring those that trusted her. This must send a stern warning to all involved that the long arm of the law will find you and catch you. The sergeant is expected to appear before the Bulukwani District Court on six counts of murder and about 17 counts of fraud on Friday. Okshala gulo lulu utaba ungongo shoma po isu senzo mtuno se uga mgelu kubosho uga saiche edwe sifazane li mpompo oso la ngugbula ala uguza tole ngo kelo ye mali yomshwa lenti. E statement in sumi yangu wa kumtunu ti ukubosho wabo uisu kumbuzo sogu tiga ageko umsebe nze gmela zanzelo matanda genwa yiskunda sake. The Minister of Police, Mr. Senzo Mkunu, commends the outstanding work of the South African Police Service following the successful arrest of a 43-year-old sergeant after an intensive two-month investigation led by the highly respected Captain Keshi Mabunda, renowned for his exceptional work in dismantling insurance fraud syndicates. The sergeant in question has been linked to the brutal and senseless murders of six individuals in and around Polokwane Limpopo. The victims who lost their lives under tragic and horrifying circumstances were part of a calculated and heinous scheme to defraud life and funeral insurance policies amounting to 10 million rand. In commending the SAPS, Minister Mkunu expressed the following. I want to take this moment to commend Captain Mabunda and his team for their tireless and meticulous work in bringing this rogue officer to justice. Their dedication to the rule of law and the protection of our citizens is an embodiment of the integrity we expect from the SAPS. The nature of these crimes is deeply disturbing, with the victims meeting their ends in various violent ways. Such cruelty and disregard for human life is utterly reprehensible, and it is all the more shocking when perpetrated by someone sworn to uphold the law and protect the innocent. The minister further went on to reiterate the ministry's stance on corruption within the SAPS, stating the following. At the same time, I must strongly condemn, in the clearest possible terms, any acts of corruption, criminality or betrayal by members of the police service. This arrest serves as a stark reminder that there is no place in the SAPS for officers who abuse their position of authority for personal gain or engage in unlawful conduct. Such actions do not only harm innocent lives but also erode the trust that the public places in law enforcement. Let me be unequivocal. We will root out corruption and criminality from within the ranks of the SAPS. Any police officer found to be involved in crime will be prosecuted to the full extent of the law. We will not tolerate such conduct and we will continue to work tirelessly to restore the public's confidence in our police